So um, I worked obviously very closely with a lot of people that were coming through that, you know, that had, you know, breast cancer. And of course, there I set up um, an acupuncture clinic as well as a scar therapy clinic to treat outpatients um, coming in, you know, for associated symptoms with acupuncture, such as nausea and vomiting um, and, and global body pain, headaches, things that you get, obviously, from the grueling treatments that, that you know, that people go through through and of course scar therapy predominantly for uh, ladies and gentlemen that had had mastectomies so yeah so I set up HLP therapy clinics um, two or three years ago and yes I applied for a Macmillan grant um, uh, and obviously the process is quite in depth as you would expect and um, and they were very very receptive oh, no. so Denise, this has been probably even even more of a success than I thought even that even than I thought it would be like it's gone beyond my wildest dreams which is fantastic so the grant was for 27 people of every person that attended the scar therapy session every single one of those 22 ladies because they were all ladies I know men can have um, breast cancer too but it was all ladies 22 of them all improved so a hundred percent success rate which of course is just fantastic but for me it was how they improved so well so um they the first session 75 minutes I used the breast um, uh, cue outcome measure and the scar cue outcome measure. And um, with that, obviously, we went through, you know, how the scar looks to you, how it feels to you. Do you get nagging? Do you get burning? Do you get tugging? Do you get pulling? Gr graded them from, you know, not at all to all the time. Um, and um, and then obviously uh, plotted them all on on graphs at the end without them knowing obviously that was out of out of the treatment session and um and so in the first session we took photos with the client's permission and got them obviously to sign um consent forms and I literally went through everything with them just like I would normally do with any of my other clients here all the ladies just absolutely loved it they you know some of the feedback are the first time anyone's ever touched my scar the first time anyone's actually really looked after my scar the first time anyone has told me how to look after my scar you're empowering them to look after their scars to look after their body to be aware of their body to start to engage in that with that body part but also <laughs> I don't quite know the words, but to start, you know, making friends with that area again. Well, like I said, I would like to get this on the pathway so that everyone can access it. And, and that's, that's my biggest goal out of all of this, not just to be able to treat 27 people, but to be able to treat 27,000 people and beyond um, is so everyone can have access to that service. I suppose this journey of part of that process is just the beginning, isn't it? It's about collecting the data, collecting the research, helping those individuals as best you can. So you get that evidence to be able to take it forward and say, look, this has worked a hundred percent. Every 27, 27 people has benefited from it.